Hi, uh, today we're at Punta Prima. Uh, at the moment we're on the sort of fairly undeveloped part of the coast. There's a couple of natural beaches, and, uh, but it's mainly rock, as you can see. Behind me in the distance, um, the other side of some open coastline and palm gardens is the large town of Torrevieja, which you should be able to see across the bay. Uh, Punta Prima has extended itself quite a lot recently with a lot of new build down on the front, particularly um, apartments, uh, luxury apartments as well. It's uh, very, very popular with the Spanish and it's also very popular with the Germans and Scandinavians, less British here because we tend to go for villas and townhouses. And as I said, these are mainly apartments, uh, two, three, um, and some even four and five bedroom apartments in Punta Prima. Uh, behind the camera, which you'll see in a minute, is more of the open coast. Uh, again, un, un, undeveloped, just quite natural. And beyond that is a man-made purpose created beach which uh, in the summer has lifeguards and sort of facilities such as first aid stations and is actually a blue flag beach. On the coast here, you can't really see it uh, you, on this shot, but you get a lot of seagrass washing up on the beaches. It looks a bit like dead seaweed. It's not very pleasant in the sense that if it's left to rot, it does start to smell. So it is cleared in the summer on a daily basis from the beaches. But the seagrass is actually a good thing because it denotes that the water here is uh, better than in most parts of the Mediterranean because seagrass will only grow in certain quality water. So if you see uh, beaches with a lot of seagrass on them, dried up and more fresh wet seagrass along the, sea, the actual sort of wave border, then it's a good place to swim because the water's a good condition.